you ever read the obituaries in the newspaper? Maybe you pull up some apps on your phone and you're reading about someone who has recently died. And as you go through and you read the details, talks about the day they were born, the day they passed away, talks maybe about a spouse or children or grandchildren, maybe the job that they had for a number of years, and then maybe they liked riding on their tractor or they liked knitting and crocheting or they loved to go golfing. But as you're reading the obituary, does it say anything about Jesus? Does it say anything about their life of faith in Christ? We've spent a number of weeks reading Paul's last letter to Timothy. And we're going to wrap it up together on Sunday morning, July 25, and I'd love to see you here. But as Paul wraps up the letter, it sounds like he's writing his own obituary. And it's beautiful. I'm going to ask that you take some time between now and Sunday and go to 2 Timothy chapter 4 and just read from verse 9 through verse 22. And as these are Paul's last words, see what and see who mattered the most. He says a lot in these few verses, but most importantly, he says a lot about Jesus. And then I'm going to ask you to do one more thing. Stop and pause and ask this question. When you pass away, what will they say about you? And what will be said regarding how you lived between the day you were born and the day you passed away? How much will they see Jesus in you? I can't wait to see you Sunday, Fellowship. Let's make much of God together.